extensor hallucis longus. It lies in the anterior extensor compartment of the leg. There are four muscle compartments in the leg. The anterior compartment of the leg, the lateral compartment, the superficial posterior compartment, and the deep posterior compartment. There are four muscles in the anterior compartment of the leg. All these muscles are supplied by the deep perineal nerve. This is the nerve that is present within this anterior compartment. These are the four muscles that are located in the extensor anterior compartment of the leg. The tibialis anterior, the extensor hallucis longus, the extensor digitorum longus, and the preneus tertius muscle. As a reminder to you, the deep perineal nerve is the nerve that will give you numbness in the first web space if that nerve is injured. Extensor hallucis longus, origin from the middle two fourths of the anterior surface of the fibula. It inserts into the distal pharynx of the big toe. The word hallucis means big toe. The word longus means it's a long muscle and tendon and will reach the terminal pharynx of the big toe where it gets inserted. The muscle makes a tendon above the superior extensor retinaculum and this tendon passes under the superior extensor retinaculum and the inferior extensor retinaculum. It inserts into the distal pharynx of the big toe. Function is dorsiflexion of the ankle and extension of the big toe. The relationship of the anterior tibial artery to the extensor hallucis longus muscle. Be aware of the variable position of the anterior tibial artery in relationship to these two muscles, the extensor hallucis longus muscle and the extensor digitorum longus muscle. Initially, the artery runs proximally between the tibialis anterior medially and the extensor digitorum longus laterally. And as the extensor hallucis longus muscle takes origin from the middle two-fourths of the anterior fibula, then the anterior tibial artery lies between the tibialis anterior muscle and the extensor hallucis longus muscle. The extensor hallucis longus muscle then crosses the leg medially to take position in the medial side so it can go to the big toe. The big toe is more medial than the other toes of the foot, so the extensor hallucis longus is more medial than the extensor digitorum longus. Then the anterior tibial artery will be between the extensor hallucis longus and the extensor digitorum longus muscle in the distal part of the leg and in front of the ankle. As a reminder, the dorsalis pedis, which is continuation of the anterior tibial artery, is in the first web space. It is between the extensor hallucis longus medially and the extensor digitorum longus tendon laterally. At the level of the ankle joint, this is how we remember arrangement of the anterior ankle structures. Tom has a very nice dog. T for tibialis anterior. H for the hallucis, V for vessels, 
in for nerve, and dark is for the digitorum, the extensor digitorum longus. This is only good to help you to remember the structures in the distal part of the tibia in front of the ankle. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.